because I really thought about how I wanted to film this intro because I wanted to keep some suspense, but you guys have got to see this. This knife is one of the few knives that I've gotten so excited about. Jared had it on his channel. I saw it then. I was like, I really want to see that knife, and it showed up today. I had completely forgotten about it. We are going to look at the Vosti knives RS Chaos. This thing is a lot of fun, so let's turn this around and crack into this from above. Guys, when the latest box of knives that Jared sent me showed up, this one was there and I knew I had to take a look at it first because this is a knife I've really wanted to see. This is the RS Chaos by Vosteed Knives. Now, this is the first day I've carried it, but oh boy, this thing is pretty pretty epic. There's going to be a video on my film here in the next few days. It's all the Vosteed Knives that Jared sent me, but let's get this box out of the way and let's start talking about this because this thing is really, really cool. So I've had this in pocket for maybe an hour and a half, two hours today, but this thing is a beast. Look at that blade. So this is an M390 blade. It's done in a Warrencliffe style. Some, like some people are saying it's a sheep's foot. I think it's a little bit more piercing. I don't care. It is amazing beautiful beautiful hardware this is an amazing looking knife so it is done in a unique button lock but we're going to talk about all that i've carried this this morning and what i've noticed is this thing cuts incredibly well vosti knives typically have got a really good cutting profile this is no exception even though it is a monster of a knife it is beefy it just feels like it would be something that's gonna be one of those overbuilt you gotta chop and thump through stuff but it doesn't it has got an amazing behind the edge thickness on this and a lot of it has to do with how this is ground down from this area this is done brilliantly so you have what is basically a compound grind so you've got a thicker area here thinner area here with one continuous cutting edge on it and it cuts really really well in hand it's just about a neutral balance right there where your fingers are it doesn't feel tip heavy it doesn't feel tail heavy it's just really really neutral and then it's got this lock mechanism which technically is not it's it's like a hybridized version of a liner lock and a button lock so it is a liner lock but your actuator is a button which means technically this is an ambidextrous knife even though the pocket clip doesn't we'll talk about that later so reverse flip flipper tab this thing is just insane on the action but when you look at it it has got a very unique futuristic feel that's one of the things i love about some of these companies that are doing some of this they're bringing high quality edc knives with a flair that is not the gimmicky donut warrior kind of thing um arcane design is doing some of the same things you get these futuristic looking knives that definitely still are super functional 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 knives you've got a little bit of jimping here a little bit of jimping here nice nice aperture on this for reverse flick and i gotta say the action on this is just superb i love the vossi knives i've never had one that has not had incredible action um i believe that vossi is one of the few companies that i've never seen a bad knife from like i've never had one of their knives that i didn't go wow that's just a great knife uh, their designs are always amazing their execution is beautiful and this is not and this is definitely not a deviation beautiful hardware on this all of this has been anodized bronze or is brass i have not looked anything up on this knife yet so i don't know i do I, like i said i got this and i definitely wanted to just get it out of pocket in in pocket out of the box you do have a full choil up here where you can choke up on it but you really don't need it because even though it's a bigger knife you still feel as though you have really good control here from back here even more so up here but i don't think you really needed that forward choil as much and the fact is then you can get up on it like you can pinch grip up here and really control this knife super comfortable in any grip the handles are nice and thin here and then broad at the back which kind of drives you into a very secure secure grip like i said action on this is great you can use this just like any other button lock where you've got the option of just depressing the button and flipping the knife open uh you can also like i said flipper tab on it is brilliant almost completely disappears and then you've got a huge aperture on it for reverse flick that is a striking striking looking knife uh, i just i just the overall aesthetics of this knife are great and then just ever so slight 
kind of like a dip not not severe but it has it's not really that it dips it's that this comes up a little bit thicker in the back so it kind of feels a lot like a knife that I have fallen in love with that has an actual recurve to the handle. It just kind of drops into a grip that feels super, super comfortable. I, I just, I'm gushing over this knife because it's, it's great. This is one of the coolest knives that has come in in a very, very long time. And then on top of everything else, the lines of it, open or close, look amazing. It looks great open, looks powerful, predatory, futuristic, but then closed. These lines just pretty much marry up. I don't even dislike the fact it has a lanyard hole. So there are a couple things that I have noticed that I'm not a big fan of on this knife, but they're minor, minor things. We'll talk about those right after you guys see an advertisement. I just want to acknowledge Doll Strong Knives for sponsoring this video. They are offering a broad selection of knives that will fit the needs of everyone from the at-home foodie that just putters in the kitchen all the way up to the professional chef level kind of quality. They've got a broad selection of every type of knife you would need for any situation from choppers all the way down to your fine detail pairing knives and things like that so go check them out they offer some of the best looking knives as well this is part of their shogun series this is an amazing knife go check them out support the channel you know that your kitchen knives are the knives you're going to use the most why not get good ones so now let's turn this around and get back to the video all right, guys, and just to correct myself, uh, because I, I, I mentioned a, a button lock and a liner lock. It's it's a, a more akin to a compression lock. You can see where the lockup face is as opposed to an actual liner lock, uh, which I have one here. You can see where the liner lock locks up on the tang of the blade. There is a difference between these two, but very, very similar. I mean, the, the compression lock is technically a type of liner lock. So at any rate, only a couple of negative things I have noticed about this. Um, the area here, it, I, I'm not a fan of Jimp, even though that is very attractive. I wouldn't want to give it up, but I wouldn't, I don't necessarily like the way it feels along that very edge. I think they could have done a little bit more to chamfer those over uh, because they are a little aggressive. And I will, more to the point, not so much the way they feel in hand here, in and out of pocket. So in and out of pocket, this definitely rubs against the pocket material. And I'm afraid that that's going to be one of those ones that just chews up pockets. Uh, I would have liked to have seen, you know, those are just there for decorative. They could have been chamfered over a little bit less aggressive. Um, and, and I mean, on this side, you can definitely feel it more. On this side, you feel it when it's in and out of pocket. I don't think this side's as sharp. Uh, next thing, it's heavy. It is heavy. I don't dislike a heavy knife, but for a lot of people, I'm going to tell you right now, this knife is heavy. There is a, this is a hunk of material. It is not a light, light knife. Um, the, a lot of the other Vostids are, are pretty much ultra light knives. This is not, that might be something that you might want to look at. Um, and then basically the final thing is it does have a bit of lock stick. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try and see if maybe putting a little bit of dry graphite lube down here, maybe a pencil on that, see if that takes care of it. But it does have a bit of a pop on that uh, when it comes to lock stick. So the detent on it, though, is great. So those are the only things that I have noticed so far first in pocket. And I might change my mind if that lock stick goes away. You know, if this doesn't tear up pockets, these opinions may change. But so far, this is one absolutely one of the coolest looking and feeling knives just overall first impressions i've had in a long time it takes a lot for me to get this excited and uh when i opened it i i was like oh okay yeah i definitely the hype does meet what i was thinking it, you know when they hyped this up i was like oh absolutely i'm gonna stop guys i'm gushing over this knife so let's turn this around do some final thoughts and send you out about like your I day said, it takes a lot for me to get so excited about a knife this is so much fun this is such just one of those knives that the function and form and everything just kind of all comes together to a point where you're like, this is just amazing. And I'm so glad that it's here. Like Jared's not going to get this back anytime soon. This is going to be here for a while. You're going to see several videos about this knife because I absolutely love it. And just look, just looking at it, it is striking, not just the shape and everything, the color combination of the black and the gold and everything just wraps everything together in an amazing, amazing looking knife. So not 
to make this take any longer. Guys, uh, you know you saw an ad. There are sponsors on this channel, Coffee Brand, Coffee Temper Trail, uh, Doll Strong Knives. I've got coupon codes built into their links for Coffee Brand, Coffee and Temper Trail, but you can also use coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase. That will also save you not just the 10% at those vendors, but 40% at Beyond EDC Knives, 10% at Ferrum Forge Knifeworks, 10% at Rosecraft Blades. I've got vendors down below, links to all the major vendors. They support the channel. I get a portion of it. Check out. It doesn't cost you anything. You can also do that with Amazon. I've got an Amazon store down below. Take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any shopping you do. Go down, find the community link that I've got down below to the community Discord. But if you want a more private and more interesting interaction with a lot of fun people, you could join my membership and get access to the private Discord. Everyone gets uh, exclusive content. The baseline and premium guys are entered into giveaways I'm doing. The premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series. So it's a lot of fun. Guys, that's it on this one. Don't forget to drop a like. I will, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.